place that's really cool. It's up higher than any school. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Grab a jetpack and some fuel, cause we're going up high, high in the sky. Come on up for a ride with your good friends at your side. Imagination is your guide, cause it's Dr. Sparks, science story typewriting time. Hello, my name is Dr. Sparks. I'm a storyteller and a scientist, and I have an unusual hobby. I write stories for people on a mechanical typewriter. Oh. You guys want to start? Yeah. What would you like to start about? Uh, the pigs. Three little pigs. You might have heard this story before, or one just like it, but we're going to make it a little bit different to make it our own and also to see if we can put a little bit of science into it. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Hello. 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 But the three little pigs had a problem. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the problem was this. All right, they had built their uh, homes um, out of all the things that you can imagine. You can imagine. Like what? Like sticks and carrots and crayons and fire and sand. Metal! And metal and thunder. Yes! It didn't matter. Whatever they built their home out of, the big bad wolf would come. And he would huff. And he would puff. And he would blow their house in. Now the piggies were getting upset. They had better things to do than to build and rebuild their home. At their wits end, they went to their friends at NASA. And they asked their friends at NASA if they could help them. Of course we can help you! Well, we can send you straight up to the International Space Station, which is 250 miles straight up in the sky. <laughs> That'd be sick! Like, like, like all the, the way up there? Yeah. The Big Bad Wolf would have a hard time finding you there. Let's dead. Now hold on. Before you go up there, you should know what you're getting into. Uh, what do you mean? I told you that the International Space Station is 250 miles straight up into the sky. Can you tell me how it stays up there? Why doesn't it fall down? Of course. It stays up by flapping its wings. I'm really good at science too, so... No, um, was he? You could have Mom. I'm gonna have it on magnetic Monday. house. And it could repel. You can have so maybe you could have magnets coming up like sideways oh, to the house, and then in the back and front and sides. You two are crazier than that wolf. I happen to know that the astronauts found a black hole, drove a nail through it, and hung the ISS on the nail the way you would a picture. Well, those are all good guesses, but you're all wrong. You see, the International Space Station is falling. It's falling all the time. But that's not all it's doing. It's also moving sideways really, really fast. So when it falls, it misses the Earth. And then it keeps missing the Earth. It keeps falling and falling in a pattern that we call orbit. So it doesn't just hang in one spot then? No. If we could see the ISS right now, why, it would almost look like a shooting star who will be moving so fast. This means for the people on the space station that they're inside of a ship that's falling all the time. So they're falling all the time too. Well, and if you're falling, you don't weigh anything. So if we go to space, we'll be weightless and just float around? Yes. Does that change your decision? <laughs> <laughs> And so NASA put them on a rocket. And on a clear day in February, they launched. T minus 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. But the big bad wolf was not to be defeated so easily. He went to the Russians, who have their own space program, just like NASA, and he paid them scads of money to launch him in his own rocket ship. And in no time at all, he was pointing his spaceship straight up, launching his way through the night sky, all the way towards the International Space Station. The big bad wolf, he got on his radio, and he said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in. the hair on our chinny chin chins. Then I will huff, and I will puff, and I will blow your spaceship in. And after he said this, he put on his spacesuit, he opened the airlock, and he pushed his way out towards the International Space Station. The wolf drifted weightless, and the piggies could do nothing but wait and watch. When he was nearly there, the big bad wolf, he huffed, and he puffed, and he took a huge breath, and he took off his space helmet, and he blew as hard as he could. But the wolf was in orbit, and so he was weightless. So when he blew that hard, he launched himself backwards, just the way a rocket does, all the way to Mars. And what became of the three little pigs? They loved their new home, which was 250 miles above the surface of the earth. And they lived there happily ever after. The end. Alright guys, thank you so much for waiting. I hope that they don't leave that yet. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we take. You should do it today. Get a separate You too. How many people have you got? I've written over a thousand stories. Today? Well, today's year the first. <laughs>